Hello everyone and welcome back to Soul Hackers 2. Last time we got our fourth party member. We brought him back from the dead after he was killed in an alley. And I believe now we have to make our way back to the safe house. No, we do not. We already did the safe house thing. Alright. Um, it's been a little bit since I recorded. Trying to fully remember what the last thing I was doing. Leaving this to you. What's this? Whose thing is this? Ah, oh, this is the request. Yeah, no, we're not gonna do the request just yet. We're gonna hold off on that. I need to remember where I'm going. I think it's this place. Yeah, it's probably this place. That would make sense. We haven't gone to it yet. You have no face. You also have no face. Oh, this place is packed. And they've just got demons out on the street here. This is Montserrat. I guess you could call it a private district. A city space only summoners can enter. What, normal people aren't allowed in? As far as I understand it, there's a barrier set up. It doesn't just keep civilians out, it makes it so that they're not even curious about the place. Hmm. Yeah, I can see how that worked. As long as a human's not interested in something, they'll let all kinds of discrepancies slide. So where are we headed, Saizo? Tom Smith, a devil summoner's best friend. Devil Summoner's best friend doesn't tell me much. What exactly do they do here? Well, you go to Compsmith to customize your comp. And every Devil Summoner needs a good comp. The technician here. Love the flattery side. I did not mean to skip that. Whoops. You a discount. What's the deal, Tara? I'm bringing customers in the door. You can't cut me a little finder's fee. A customer. Hey, lady. The name's the Tara. I skipped it again. Whoops. Calls me Tara. I'm Ringo. Pleasure's all mine. If you ever have any comp issues, or if you just get the itch to overclock it, spice that baby up a little, then you just bring it here. Here, Ringo. This should be enough for a little tinkering. How about you see how she works? Thanks, Saizo. You really don't mind? Don't worry about it. I owe you a lot more than this, anyway. But hey, if you'd rather just get down to business and chase our leads, we can always customize it later. When you're ready, you can drop by that place you were talking about. The Axis, right? Welcome! Comp Smith, you can upgrade your comps. Alright. Upgrade. Let's upgrade. Yeah, we should probably definitely upgrade hers just because. Will this be all? Thanks. Main character. Alright, so he literally gave us the exact cash we needed to upgrade it. And we don't have the money for anything else, anything so else? I guess that's it. I better see you back here. You can go here from the map. Mm. Hello. Mm. Aren't you a little snack? No, thank Come you. Closer. Let me see your face. Uh. 
Don't worry, honey. I don't bite. Sorry, who are you? Me? I'm Lena, the owner here at Yang Yang Palace. Charmed. And what exactly do you sell here? Mmm. I can smell the darkness on you, honey. I think our secret menu has exactly what you're looking for. Do I really smell that much? Relax, honey. I'm an expert. Trust me, my nose is always right. We have quite a stock of curiosities some might call shady. Shady enough to suit your purposes, I'm sure. Sounds like you know what you're doing. I'll be sure to drop by when I need something with a little extra kick. Oh, but don't forget, you'll have to supply your own raw materials. Strict store policy. It's great to see you. What can I even buy? Nothing. Oh, leaving already? I'm broke. I guess we're going to Axis? So this is the Axis. I can't believe a big underground complex like this actually exists. It's at the bottom of the ocean. Used to be a big abandoned facility, but we fixed it up a little. Now we use it for whatever we want. Unreal. Looks like it goes on forever. Shame it looks so synthetic, but I can't deny there's a certain sense of grandeur to it. This is the core of Ion. It's where Fig and I were born. The amount of info at our disposal here allows us to pretty accurately calculate future events. So that's... Mm. Are you sure you're okay? You don't look like you're back on your feet just yet. No, I'm fine, really. I can handle it. Hey, don't push it, Ringo. Welcome to the Axis, Devil Summoners. Or perhaps I should just call you humans. I am Flamma. Whoa! Where the hell's that coming from? Never mind the introductions. We're here for Ringo. Agreed. What exactly is going on with her? Understood. I'll get right to the point. She's dying. Based on my observations, Ringo's condition is a result of her continued soul hacking. I'd considered that as a possibility. I just didn't think it would have such an impact. I don't really get how it all works, but... Yeah, normally you can't just bring people back from the dead without some sort of catch. Isn't that the truth? Actually, I might be getting a pretty good deal if this is as bad as it's gonna get, don't you think? Well, let's not get carried away. I still owe you one, and you can bet I'm gonna pay you back. So, no giving up the ghost till we're squared away, alright? Oh ho! Better get the most out of you while I can then. Just so you guys know, none of this is your fault, okay? I agree with Ringo. The soul hacks were a necessary measure. Soul hacking allows an agent of Ion to interact with a human soul. But, it requires a link to the target's soul, or their psyche, if you'd rather phrase it that way. I surmise that when the link was created between you, it caused an unforeseen abnormality to surface. It would be extremely dangerous to continue searching for the Covenants without addressing this first. Alright, well, is there any way to get rid of this so-called abnormality? Indeed there is. It is for that reason that I called you here. <sighs> what do you mean? Give it to us straight for once. In order to remove Ringo's abnormality, I've prepared a specific countermeasure. I must ask that I have everyone's cooperation on this. Really cutting our work out for us, ain't you? All right, Plama. What do we need to do? Rather than explain, it would be best if you saw for yourselves. If you would please head that way. What way?
soul matrix. Guess this is like the first dungeon. I guess like the shopping district was, but that was kind of just a tutorial area. This might be like the first wow. dungeon. The fun just keeps on going here, huh? Wait, this seems familiar somehow. This area is known as the Soul Matrix. The Soul Matrix? Based on information acquired through Ringo's soul hacking, Ion has created a physical representation of your mental pathways. Here, they manifest as a labyrinth of sorts. Soul hacking? Alright, back when Ringo was in my mind, it, it looked something like this. The reference data comprised not only your experiences, but Ringo's previous observations in your mind space. Expect some familiar sights. They really went above and beyond. It's hard to believe we're still underground. Ion's power really is incredible. You are currently standing at the heart of the Soul Matrix, from which the labyrinth continues in three different directions. Three doors. Makes sense. Does this mean that this labyrinth of yours is connected to each one of our souls? That is correct. The structure before you is reflecting in real time the mental state of the summoners linked with Ringo. So what does this labyrinth have to do with this problem Ringo's dealing with? Allow me to clarify. The source of the abnormality causing Ringo's malaise has been detected in Arrow's sector. Because he was the first. The is that in Soul Hacking Arrow, Ringo was exposed to some anomaly within Arrow's mental state. What? Does that mean there's something wrong with my mind? Hold on. I didn't do anything wrong, did I? Hard to know without seeing for ourselves. But I think I get what Flam was saying. Basically, we just have to head into Arrow Sector and eliminate whatever's causing the problem, right? I've concluded that this would be the most effective solution, yes. <sighs> Mind losing that dismal look on your face? No. Calm down, guys. You can pick all the fights you want later, but right now... We've got a job to do. Let's go take a look at this arrow sector. Okay, I'm gonna save for now. Is there, is there a save? I'm gonna save. Yep, save. All right, let's get into it. Is there a way to... I just wanted to back out. All right. We'll save here. Into the entrance. Alright, let's start the uh, first uh, dungeon. I have no idea how long this part is gonna be. Because I don't know uh, how when the saving comes, when you can save, you may not be able to save in the middle of this. Sad. Our objective here is to eliminate the abnormality in the arrow sector and stabilize Ringo's mental state. Oh, we bad guy. Oh, we got demons just strolling around the place. What's going on here? Did it just disappear? So this soul matrix is in our minds? Because I can already tell it's going to be a headache. Why are there demons here? Is that because of Ringo's condition? 
We are still investigating possible reasons, but as of now, the presence of demons in the Soul Matrix is yet unexplained. Based on current observations, they're not limited to Arrow's sector. We have demons roaming both of your areas, too. Huh. So us summoners are infested with demons down to our hearts and minds, huh? Guess that's just karma. Investigating the Soul Matrix further might help us pinpoint the cause of Ringo's condition. So we still don't really know what's causing it. Under the current circumstances, we would be better served finding a practical solution than a theoretical one. Therefore, I will limit our current investigation to the Arrow Sector, which seems to be the source of our issue. Works for me. I'm not wild about walking into a construct of my own mind anyway. No point wasting time. Let's head for the Arrow Sector. What is that? A drone? Oh, I finally owl. caught up. You can see me, right? What do you think? How do I look? This thing certainly is friendly. It could be dangerous. I'll just shoot it. Wait, I'm not dangerous. It's me, Fig. Do they not recognize the voice? Uh, Fig? Why are you a bird thing? I'm not just a bird thing. This is Mimi the Owl. It's a drone form I'm using for reconnaissance here. Ringo was worried about our surveillance abilities in our normal forms, so this seems like a good fix. I take it this is the preparation you were talking about. Exactly. With Mimi, I can serve as mission support for you all. Support? You know, detecting hostiles, surveilling local threats. Makes sense. That could be useful. I have to ask, though, why make yourself this owl thing? Where did Mimi come from? Well, Mimi is short for Mimi Zuku, and that's a word for an owl. But it's not that important. I guess I just like the look. Drone production and control is pretty easy for Ion, so I figured I might as well make something cute. Cute's not really my thing. How about a babe drone with some curves and sultry style? Denied. Yeah, let's do that any one. Any weapons? Now you're talking. If you can take any form, just turn into a tank. A lot of problems you could solve with a six-barrel Gatling gun. Mimi is a support unit. Besides, acquiring and carrying firearms is difficult in this country. Not to mention they'd stand out too much. So much for the power of Ion. Anyway, I think I'll be using Mimi to help you guys out from now on. Let's do our best, team. We can do this. She's so perky now. Was Fig always like this? Hidden depths, I guess. I can imagine she's usually too busy keeping up with Ringo. Hmm? Sometimes all it takes is the right mask, and you can play a different side of yourself. Seems like she's having fun with it anyway. Should be fine. Now, onward to the Soul Matrix. Let's go! Here we go. Support. I can set it to her costume, but how do I change her costume? Maybe I have to return to this area to change costumes. I probably should have tried this out earlier, but I wanted to ch I want to change How do I change costumes? Can 
continue the mission. Do I have to do it back at the hideout? I'm gonna go back to the hideout, see if I can do it there. I'm probably wasting time here, but... Where is it? Oh, here it is. Let's go to Fine. Can do I'll get serious. P4, System P5. booting. Looking good. Seems nice to me. Fine. I'll get serious. Let's go to You know what? I'm Ringo. We'll, an we'll, agent we'll, of Ion. we'll do P3 for her, because I want the P3 music for now. I don't hate it. Have him do a Shujin uniform. Wow. And okay, let's dance. Yeah, that seems good for now. I'll probably swap it out to get P5 music in the next dungeon. Alright, enough uh, goofing around. Summoning. I'm going. Though, actually... I think... Yeah, I think about now is a good time to wrap it up, actually. I know I wasted some time, but... Next part, I might be a lot might be a lot longer because i don't know looks like you can just save at any point so it shouldn't take too long but uh i did save it right all right next part we will uh go over we will ex start exploring the dungeon a little bit more and uh, hopefully get further into uh arrows section so uh hope you enjoyed and i will see you in a couple days for the next part